Hi. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, now. Um, earlier, I talked about Virgo. Okay, now we go to the next uh, sign, which is uh, Capricorn. Yeah? Capricorn men. Yeah? I tahu memang ramai, but be open-minded eh, as I said, eh, because my video is actually based on research and based on my own experience also, so I add them together. Okay, now, Capricorn men, kalau kata you, you have a Capricorn men in mind, eh, katakan you berminat dengan dia, these are the things that you should know, eh, the traits of a Capricorn, eh, this is not like orang kata macam, uh, apa, uh, be all and that's all, you know. But these these are most of the characters lah that is so obvious uh, about Capricorn men. Number one, number one, physical. Secara physical, Capricorn ni, uh, I bukan nak kutuk Capricorn men, tapi dia a bit messy. Huh? Uh, bila you tengok tu macam uh, ada yang gemuk, ada yang kurus, you know. That one is not that, that one. Tapi when you see them, because they are Earth sign, Earth sign ni, it's a little bit messy. Uh, Virgo is also a little bit messy. Uh, so, dia macam uh, hara, macam uh, unruly hair, rambut macam tak, tak uh, ni, kadang-kadang uh, apa, janggut macam tak tak uh, tak terurus. Dia tak macam Taurus. Eh? Uh, Taurus is a little bit well kept compared to all that earth signs uh, yang I, 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 I yang this is the one that I know lah. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, the Taurus is a little bit uh, more on the, uh, on the kemas sikit. Eh? Kalau Capricorn, normally dia like, um, kalau ada bau ke apa ke, tak adalah nak buat terlebih-lebih tu, dia shave macam tu je. Macam it's like not really, um, how do I say this ah? Physical lah ni, I cakap pasal physical lah. Tapi kalau you, you tanya I lah, they are not that attractive. Uh, physically, yeah? physically, selalunya macam uh, kurus, kecil, rendah because my ex-boyfriend uh, who is a Capricorn uh, he is a little bit shorter than me yeah? uh, kind of messy a bit uh, so sebab tu I cakap mula-mula I tak berapa minat yeah? tapi lama-lama macam hmm, there's something about him yeah. as I said, yeah? okay now remember eh, Capricorn is actually ruled by the 10th house yeah? the 10th house in astrological uh, chart they are ruled by the 10th house is actually is all about career and status yeah sebab tu i cakap dengan you capricorn man is okay we go deeper eh okay um okay macam i cakap eh physical secara physical you tengok macam hmm, tak adalah berkata-ketak ke apa kan sarah-sadar ke tak ada dia orang biasa dia orang because dia dia earth sign eh Physical nampak macam tak menarik. Tapi but when you get to know him, you realise that uh, he's a man of substance. Huh? Uh, substance meaning macam they they are looking for meaning. Meaning of they they don't mind looking deeper into your personality for him to find that substance. Which is a little bit intriguing. Sebab tu ramai uh, perempuan yang I perasan lah. Dia orang suka especially the the nice girls ah huh? uh, i will go back i will go to the topic eh? the nice girls who are like more timid uh, more down to earth more conventional uh, yang biasa ni they will look they dia suka capricorn because capricorn is like uh, so tak check up dia dia suka ke dia tak suka ke you wouldn't know you takkan tahu apa dalam isi hati dia okay i i will elaborate on that ah huh? okay uh, kalau you berminat dengan Capricorn, I cakap dengan you because you know why? You have secured a gold mine. Yeah? Uh, Capricorn, remember eh? Capricorn, they rule the house of career and status. Status. Yeah? Capricorn, generally, they are, they work very, very hard and normally they've got tons of money. Yeah? So if you are gold diggers, <laughs> ah, to all the women out there who are gold diggers, eh, you should get a Capricorn man because they are gold mine. They are gold mine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, cara dia memilih yeah, partner, eh, lelaki. Uh, Capricorn ni, I cakap dengan you terus terang, 
first meeting selalunya you takkan dapat figure out. It's a bit difficult dia because they are very, uh, they are loners. Huh? First of all, they are loners. Remember, they are represented by the mountain goat. Okay, mountain goat, dekat mana you nampak mountain goat? You takkan nampak mountain goat dekat the normal plains. Eh? Huh? Uh, you takkan nampak dekat normal-normal farmhouse and everything. Mountain goats tak? Dekat mana mountain goats you nampak selalunya? Only if you go to the the top of the mountain. Uh, the one with the very apa, long, apa, uh, dia punya tanduk tinggi. And they are loners. Generally, Capricorn are loners. It's loners meaning they don't mind being by themselves. You know, they tak perlu orang. Uh, they tak perlu being surrounded by many, many people. They don't mind being alone. Yeah, they are loners. Okay. Okay. Kalau uh, you... Uh, I cakap terus terang dengan you lah eh. Dia tak macam Virgo eh. Uh, Virgo dia nak education. Dia nak really want to see whether you are a smart woman or not. Uh, untuk Capricorn men, dia a little bit, uh, they don't mind. You are not having that uh, that one. Uh, you tak kerja pun tak apa. Uh, yang penting. Huh? I'm sorry ya, eh, it's a little bit twisted. Sebab tu I cakap, my video is going to be the real. Huh? The real that I know about Capricorn. Yang penting, you have all money. Meaning what? You, bapa you, Tan Sri? Mak you, Datuk Sri? Huh? Uh, ataupun your father is what? Uh, Vincent Tan? Huh? Billionaire, millionaire in Malaysia? Or maybe Bill Gates or something? Only then, he doesn't mind getting married to you. Uh, Capricorn is a little bit slow. They are super slow in loving. Lambat gila. Dia sangat very slow. Because you know why? Dia dah duduk dekat atas atas mountain tu kan? Okay. One thing about Capricorn man which uh, a little bit off lah bagi I lah. Dia dia think because they are the mountain goat eh. So they will basically will a little bit of a show off jugalah. Kadang-kadang that you know dia akan duduk dekat atas apa mountain tu Tengok bawah, tengok all the cow, you know, the taurus and everything. You know, the the aries, the rams and everything kan. Dia macam tak nak, dia cuma tengok dari jauh je. Dia takkan nak pergi associate berkawan dengan lembu, berkawan dengan kuda, tak. Huh? Uh, these are mountain goats. Huh? Uh, so, they are super, they are like very lonely. And to trust me, yeah, because of them like to being alone, they are always subjected to depression. Uh, dia, dia dia macam hidup dia Capricorn ni kalau you perasan eh, Hidup dia tak adalah macam lively sangat yeah? uh, Dia hidup dia like very normal uh, Tapi in terms of duit You boleh harap yeah? uh, In terms of duit you boleh harap And then you nak berkasih-kasih sayang Sayang cinta and everything um, It's a little bit uh, difficult lah huh? With Capricorn man Okay Okay Macam saya cakap, eh? you bodoh tak apa. You tak ada degree, tak ada masters tak apa. It's okay. Capricorn man will want you. Provided you are somebody lah. Uh, okay. Saya cakap dengan awak, eh? contoh Capricorn man. Eh? I'm sorry, eh? I do not know him personally. Zahid Hamdi is a Capricorn. Yeah? Uh, so, kalau I I do not know because I have not uh, done some research on him or whatever. Because to me, Capricorn is very boring. Uh, there's nothing much about them that you want to know because dia dia orang dia they are very socially awkward ya yeah? dia tak akan boleh mingle dengan orang-orang lain is it bukan tak bukan boleh mingle tapi boleh tapi they will have very like very few friends eh? satu dua dia are loners they like to be alone most of the time jadi dia a little bit socially awkward person okay zahir hamidi ya eh? macam saya cakap eh? I tak tahu why dia tu uh, nak tansri mana ke apa but i'm sure ya yeah? i'm pretty sure there is something around that Ah, uh, kalau tak si apa siapa nama dia? No. Uh, Hamida apa? Apa nama dia? Ha, aku bah aku tak tahu nama wife dia. But I can tell from the, the look of the wife and eh, the what what she wears and everything, I can tell that yeah, she she is somebody. But fair enough, good enough. Ah, uh, tak ada apa, apa lulus SPM pun tak apa sebab tu anak dia pun macam bangang ya kan. <laughs> Sorry cakap lah ya. Ah, uh, sebab kalau you anak punya intelligence ah normally comes from the mother 
kalau anak you agak macam bela-bela, bangang-bangang, macam kosong macam tu, normally the mom is not that smart. Ya? Yeah? Okay. Now, I tak nak kutuk-kutuk banyak-banyak, lantak itu dia punya pasal. Okay, fine. Okay. Capricorn ni stand by, yeah? very extremely ambitious. Uh, sebab tu I cakap, kalau you tak ada duit, you don't come from a very good uh, established glamour status family, you jangan harap Capricorn men will even look at you. Ya? Yeah? They are super ambitious. Dia akan plan itu, dia akan macam-macam idea dia buat. You tengok eh, Zahir Hamidi eh, macam-macam eh, dengan isu parti apa semua. Ma mana korek, mana boleh dikorek lubang, cari duit, dia akan korek lubang tu, walaupun lubang tu tak elok. Ha? That is Capricorn man. They would do, dia akan plan, pum pum pum, super ambitious because you know why they nak ni. They are the gold mine. Ya, yeah? they are the gold mine. Okay. Okay. This is another trait which I, I I find it a little bit disgusting. Eh? Capricorn men ni selalunya, they are, they are the daddy of the zodiac, eh? the father of the zodiac. Jadi, Capricorn men ni selalunya very fatherly. Uh, dia Walaupun dia dia muda, tapi perangai dia tu macam, kalau you perasan, eh, macam macam bapak-bapak begitu. Huh? Uh, jadi, okay. Uh, it happened to me, eh? it happened to me. This is the reason why I, I broke up with my ex-boyfriend last time, who is a Capricorn. Eh? He happened to be a Dato Sri also. Yeah? Uh, because dia suka play daddy role. Eh? It's like a very daddy role. So, apa? So, dia selalu jadi sugar daddy for very young woman. Uh, because my ex-boyfriend last time, eh, dia cakap kat saya, dia kata, I'm, apa? Dia ada ramai kawan. He was telling me. Yeah. I, I I find it very funny also lah. Because I remember I trusted him. Eh, masa tu I bodoh. Eh. Dia kata dia ramai kawan. And then kawan-kawan dia adalah mostly adalah daughter dia punya kawan. Okay. He was 60 at that time. Eh. Now I think he's 65 maybe. I don't know. Many years ago. He was 60 at that time. The daughter was about 28, 29 macam tu. Bila dia cakap macam tu, masa tu I didn't I didn't think of it lah. But when I when I really dig deeper, I realise actually he's trying to tell me something. Ya? Yeah? Dia cakap daughter-daughter dia, anak-anak dia tu yang umur baru berapa, you know, 20 something. I macam terbayang tau. And then lepas tu ada sekali tu, dia bagi I selfie t-shirt. Is, is somebody gave him for his birthday and he show me the t-shirt, dia pakai t-shirt tu. The t-shirt tu tulis sugar daddy. What do you think? What do you think? How I perceive the information? That's the reason why I broke up with him because I find it a bit weird. Uh, Capricorn men, they like to mingle with very, very, very young girls. Memang you memang akan, you, you akan macam pening. You tengok macam, Eh, tolonglah. Boleh ke? But boleh. I cakap dengan you terus terang. Capricorn man boleh. Because you know why? Ni. And lagi satu, dia tak perlu. Sebab tu I cakap. Dia tak, you tak perlu education. Perempuan bodoh-bodoh, tak kerti apa pun, dia boleh. Dia boleh. Uh, because they use this. Uh, they don't mind. As I said, eh, love comes second with Capricorn man. Kalau you nak bercinta, I, normally lah, Capricorn men ni normally dia akan kahwin lambat. Very late. Because you know why dia sibuk kejarkan kebendaan dulu. Ha? Kalau dia kahwin pun, you very lucky. Uh, you are very lucky. Normally dia akan kahwin lambat umur 30, 33. Kadang-kadang pelajar, bujang pelajar pun ada. Because you know why? Because he likes to play around with the young-young girls. Umur 20, yang bodoh-bodoh tak tahu apa-apa. You know? Uh, bagi 500, settle. Uh, kan? Uh, masih lagi dekat college berhingus lagi kita sebagai perempuan kita rasa macam disgusting lah uh, that is one of uh, uh, perangai agak pelik ya eh. uh, this is I, I I I go deeper because this is more like a dark side to Capricorn men okay Capricorn men uh, another I I bagi tahu you eh. they are very highly sexual yeah? Capricorn men they are very highly sexual jadi You jangan terkejut kalau you nampak, you pernah nampak China doll kat rumah dia. Ha? You pernah nampak the vibrating pussy or whatever kat rumah dia. Ha? You jangan terkejut. Uh, because I I I saw that 
Yeah, but I'm very open-minded. To me, I'm okay. But that is something that for you to be beware of. Because they are super highly sexual guy, Capricorn man. Because they are Earth. Eh? Earth is so dirty. Eh? Uh, they are like, they are loner tau. Itu uh, cik, I cakap dengan you. Sebab dia lonely. So memang dia akan buat macam-macam lah. Uh, sanggup lah uh, beli online apa semua kan uh, the china doll the rubber doll and everything you memang terkejut memang you like you you have a different kind of education eh, bila you bertemu dengan lelaki Capricorn uh, ini I cakap dengan you terus terang because it's based on my experience tapi in terms of money you don't have to worry at all he will have katakan umur baru 30 eh, he already got a bungalow You sendiri pun tak terfikir. Tapi bangun-bangun je lah. Dalam rumah tu kosong tak apa. Eh? Uh, yang penting he already got. And then normally rumah dia. Katakan kalau macam he single pun. He will always have a maid. Yeah, to clean up the house. Yeah? That kind of thing. Uh, because dia dia uh, the gold mine. Eh? Uh, I cakap dengan you Capricorn. Kalau you ada jumpa Capricorn man. Good for you. Uh, but you have to be beware of all these things. Eh? Uh, beware of all these things. Uh, with the sugar daddy thingy, you know, that kind of thing. You akan rasa macam, yeah, disgusting, man. Uh, tapi that is who they are. That is who they are. Uh, okay, now. Okay. Macam I cakap, eh. Uh, they, they like to be, okay. Um, apa lagi, eh. They are not faithful, eh. Uh, macam I cakap lah, because of, dia, dia, Capricorn memang not, 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 to be honest with you, jarang Capricorn man is faithful. Yeah, very seldom because, you know, bagi dia, dia, dia boleh beli perempuan dengan duit. Yeah, because they know that they've got the status. They know that they've got the money. They are the gold mine. So, normally, the gold diggers, ah, perempuan-perempuan yang suka gold digging ni, memang suka lelaki Capricorn ni. Uh, despite from the fact yang physical tak cantik, you know, they are, they are very timid. Uh, nampak seleke. Capricorn, normally, yeah, Capricorn girls. Uh, ni, I cakap pasal girls lah, eh. Because... Capricorn men, I tahu memang comot. Tapi Capricorn girls pun, I perasan, memang comot. Pergi kerja tak pakai makeup. They always have the eye bag, ya. Yeah? Bawah ni, hitam. They're very, because they're very hardworking. Uh, when it comes to work, you bagi kat dia. Uh, they will work and work and work and work sampai pukul 8, pukul 9. I pun paling tahan pun pukul 7 lah. Uh, dia orang boleh sampai 8, 9, kadang-kadang sampai midnight pun ada kat keluar email. Itu Capricorn girls. Because I know a few Capricorn girls in my office. Yeah? Uh, dia orang tak macam ni. Tak ada. Nak pakai pakai makeup ke, nak pakai foundation ke sikit, nak pakai concealer, nak nak apa, nak 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 tutup titik-titik apa semua kan. Pigmentation tak ada. Dia orang, they don't care. They just go out. Uh, apa ni? Dengan muka yang tak bermakeup ke apa ke, tak kisah. Pakai baju pun macam lelaki. Ya. Yeah? Uh, girls ah, huh? Capricorn girls. It's a bit, uh, they are, they are, they are, they are nice people. They are nice people. But if you look deeper into the dark side of Capricorn men, eh, I'm talking about eh, Capricorn girls, I tak apa rapat sangat. Yeah, uh, sebab tu I cakap, I air sign. Air sign ni jarang nak rapat dengan earth. Uh, jarang. Uh, especially perempuan eh. Sebab I perempuan, bersama perempuan susah. Because most of my girlfriends are actually uh, air sign like myself and also fire. Sebab tu I cakap. Yeah, you look around you. Uh, who are you close with? Okay. Now. Okay. Capricorn man in the bedroom. Uh, I cakap dengan you. Uh. <laughs> uh, they don't mind not having sex. But they really, really will get down on you. Uh, ni I cakap dengan you. Uh, trademark. I'm not so sure about Taurus though. But Virgo and Capricorn, they really, really like to get down on the woman. So God bless you women yeah, who are with Capricorn men because they like, they don't mind not having sex. Meaning like not putting the thing inside your thing lah. Huh? But they will, they're going to please you uh, by going down on you. You faham apa I cakap tak? Uh, I cakap ni berlapik uh, sebab I tak nak nanti kan orang Melayu terkejut, terkejut beruk. Uh, tapi I nak, I'm very open minded eh, sebab kita adults. Eh. Uh, we are talking about, we are, we are adults here. So, kalau you, macam nak cakap, uh, kalau you sexual, you you are a sexual woman, eh? you know yourself, you know yourself. Ada setengah perempuan yang not that, that sexual. But if you are a sexual woman and uh, you want to have intercourse eh, with your husband or whatever, uh, 
uh, he macam nak cakap he might not give you the intercourse that you want as frequent as you want but he doesn't mind getting down on you most of the time you understand uh, so god bless the woman <laughs> You faham tak apa cakap ni? Ah, because Virgo is also like that. Yeah, uh, I was married to Virgo for 10 years. Eh? God bless me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they really, because they are earth sign. Earth sign doesn't, doesn't mind being down there and get dirty. Yeah? You have to get that. You, sebab tu I cakap, astrology is very important. If you are not learning about astrology, you're missing the biggest part about psychology. How they work. Yeah? Because earth sign, Capricorn and Virgo, they don't mind getting dirty. Ha? Bertani, bercucuk tanah. Ha, you faham apa saya cakap? Ha, sebab saya cakap kalau if you, if you are the, as I said lah, macam, macam I'm, I'm not really that sexual person. I'm more for the intellect. Yeah? Uh, so I don't, I don't really mind. That's why I didn't mind dating him last time. Yeah? Capricorn man. But the moment I found out about the sugar daddy thingy, I I know that immediately I know that he has a lot of uh, sugar apa panggil uh, sugar daughters <laughs> uh, bukan satu eh uh, so I rasa macam ah, enough lah you know this ad, ini adalah permainan macam nak cakap ah, sugar, sugar sugar daddy ni adalah permainan orang kaya-kaya je ah, sebab tak cakap permainan orang-orang kaya ni ah, termasuklah Capricorn Virgo tak macam tu Uh, Virgo tak reti. Uh, Virgo tak reti. Bagi Virgo dia dia, dia geli benda-benda macam tu. Tapi Capricorn yes. Dia a little bit weird in that sense eh. Okay now. Uh, 21. Okay now. Remember eh Capricorn. Uh, if you are into Capricorn man. By all means go ahead. Yeah. But you need to understand eh. He's the man of substance. Substance meaning they are looking for something more inside you. What more is normally is ting ting and bling bling. Uh, bling bling and uh, title Tan Sri, Datuk Sri apa semua whatever title lah ha, kan? Capricorn is is always because they rule the 10th house the house of career and status so jangan marah eh? uh, so all the Capricorn men out there kalau you tak puas hati you've got uh, some other comments or whatever let me know uh, put put in the comments down below so maybe I will look into it and uh, Tengok lah macam mana eh. Uh, so memang kelakar. Eh? I cakap dengan you terus terang. Based on my own experience. Siapa yang tengok video I. I'm very realist. Eh? I'm a realist person. So I will tell you exactly how it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Very straightforward. Okay. Uh, apa ni? Be smart in choosing men. Okay. So alright. Take care. Bye.